So pseudorandom refers to an algorithm which is programmed to generate random numbers. The interesting thing about this theory is that for, let's say, the, the viewer sees the numbers as something random, but the meaning and structure behind it is actually organized, but it's organized to create random numbers. And I use this concept of the algorithm into the idea of music being random, but having a hidden structure behind it. I have always found that the choices I've made in life, either in music or life, has been determined by some deeper sense of meaning. It sounds religious, it's not actually, but there is for sure, even in nature, you see phenomena she cannot explain, we cannot explain as humans. Even science has a difficulty in explaining why certain phenomena occur in nature and why they act the way they do. An example is the chaos theory, a pattern that keeps replicating itself, suddenly takes a new form, without any external factors interfering with it. It has been a long journey for me to go from deciding what to do and instead discovering it. And I find this to be a key ingredient in, in my new album and my project, Sir Random, which took its, planted its first roots in Iceland actually uh, two years ago, where I studied with this great professor um, at the conservatory in, in Reykjavik. We talked a lot about how important it is to change your environment and to change your perception of things. Working with music especially, that is so closely connected to life and basically energy and in an expressive form created this new idea of endless possibility. Combining the underground of Berlin and the techno and minimalistic electronic music to the classical scene where I come from, from the conservatory background that I have the clash between the two is kicking something new into my creative capacity. So, big part of Soto Random's DNA comes from this idea of taking polarities and working from both places, trying to connect them. So, I have always been fascinated with uh, cinematic music, meaning uh, music that tells a strong story as you hear it. A dear friend of mine called Hedvig Larsson, which is uh, who's a Swedish director and photographer, asked me, well we actually talked about doing this together because she wanted to do it for a project. And Tapestry, which is the fourth song on the, the album, um, became an artistic film. So the basic idea was uh, a story about a woman caught up in her own ego, but at the same time in her own pain. Um, but you can tell that in many different ways. And to make it interesting also visually, we used medics, worms, rotten fruit, just a lot of visual uh, disturbing references basically to be a metaphor, obviously, of what the music wanted to say. For a tapestry, I wanted to catch this rawness that I feel exists in Cecilia. The real and fearless artist as I see her. The strong woman who doesn't pretend or act to be anyone else but herself. In the other part of the video, I wanted to capture a polished and beautiful surface and what lurks underneath it. Nothing is never perfect, ever, but still we continue to pretend to be. So for this video, I wanted to come under that skin and under that surface and remove everything that's fake. As well for the other songs, the link between the two, uh, I uh, worked with a string quartet from uh, Denmark called Hukil Bambi. And not only did they play on the, the song, also including a trumpet player, and uh, a saxophone player. They not only worked with me for the actual recording, but they wanted to take part in the video that I made as well. 
It's just been a really fascinating uh, combination of artists and musicians coming together. Uh, and it gave a, an interesting new meaning to, to the song. And now the album is out. It's been a long way for Sir Random to find its roots. It's actually turning into a festival. It's called the WE Festival. WE stands for World Electronic Experimental and is a celebration of diversity, of culture and community. Five different acts are going to play and they're going to represent a different scene of Berlin. And everyone is invited. It's the 1st of December and it's going to take place in Bade House. So that is my way of working. To constantly putting myself into a new arena that I did not know anything about before. For now, it's Berlin. It's gonna be fucking fun.